This week we're going to talk about communion, the significance of taking communion, and also look back at the first communion. In Luke chapter 22, verse 14, we read that Jesus, as the time had come, he was reclining at the table with the disciples. And that was the setting. It was the Last Supper, but the first communion. And Jesus knew he was about to pay the ultimate price, and so he gathered his disciples together. And the very heart of that first communion is unity and closeness. And so as they take communion together, and note that they're not inside a temple or a church, so you don't have to take communion only inside the church. You can do it in lots of places. But he especially wanted to be close with his disciples just before the crucifixion, just before the resurrection, and he started something at that time, and we don't have many rituals that God says, keep doing this. I mean, baptism's a clear ritual in the Bible. God wants all people who follow Jesus to be baptized, but communion's another one that Jesus started and has so much meaning and depth. So we're gonna unpack it this week, but I encourage you, uh, as you think about communion, it is a time to be close with Jesus, to commune with him, and that was his heart in the first communion, and that is his heart today.